just having a really cozy time and I'm going to do a little unboxing with you guys. Um, it's going to be very casual, like no makeup, no hair, like I'm still damp from the shower, like it's that kind of a vibe. I'm in my snuggly ECA hoodie and I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my very first and maybe only ever, I don't know, we'll see what happens, um, but my very first Rainbow High doll. Here she is. I, as you know, I'm a doll collector, you can tell by all the dolls in the background, but I've never gotten into Rainbow High. I've like been interested in the brand, but nothing's really like spoken to my soul in the way that this doll has spoken to my soul. And like they had such good accessories and such great details, but nothing was the doll. There have been some very close calls and I'll talk about that at the end of this video. I'll talk about dolls that I like are on my like list if I was to get into them, but I'm not 100% sure, so I don't know if I'll dive deep into the realm of Rainbow High. The main thing that stopped me from getting into Rainbow High was I didn't like their faces. I felt like they were really like, if that makes sense, like really like wide set faces. Um, but I just didn't care with this doll because she was so beautiful. Anyway, let's do a thumbnail because I need to like make a thumbnail. I didn't take one before. And I need to like make one before I unbox her. This was the receipt, by the way. I bought her from Big W and she was $50. I paid full price. I literally didn't care. I owned her and I wanted to choose her in person. I'll talk more about it later. Anyway, here's the thumbnail. Okay, that maybe wasn't the thumbnail, but wait, I should make sure there's no reflection on the box. You know, when it's like that, that's not as good. I should do like that. Okay, so. Also, one thing, when I record my videos for YouTube, I never look at the camera, but I know you're supposed to do YouTube videos like this, but I literally don't care. But I do do my thumbnails like this, and I go into the lens for the thumbnail, but then usually I just look into the viewfinder. Because who cares? I don't know. You might care. I'm sorry if you care. I don't. Anyway, um, it was really difficult to get her because she's only at big w in person right now but like most big w's i haven't put her on the shelves yet because they're waiting to put her out on the toy sale um so i had to call like so many big w's and then she was in this big w that's like really far away from me so i caught a train for like an hour to go get her it was it was a whole thing um but i i got her and i wanted to buy her in person because um i wanted to like look at her face and get the most perfect face one and she has the most perfect face out of every single one at the store i like compared those meerkats I looked at every single um, Lala Yamamoto and made sure that mine had like a great face and that I was like happy with the way that her print and her hair looked and so I was happy and so I got her. Let's open her up. I did cut some of the sticky tape on the train um, because I got excited. Actually, I'll go through the packaging first. So this is like a classic Rainbow High box. Sorry that you can see the reflection of my like lighting setup, but it has this like kind of curved... Um, side and then there's a straight side with the second outfit on them so she's just in the box it says um let your true colors shine um series for lila yamamoto just up the top there it says that it says youtube i've actually never watched the rainbow high youtube series um i know it's a thing um and i'll probably watch it eventually i just have never watched it um but apparently it's like fun and all or whatever i haven't watched it it's rainbow high down the side also while i was at um this big w um, they also had Shadow High there, and they had the new Ainsley doll and all that stuff. I don't know, like, as much as I probably won't pick that stuff up, it was exciting to see. They also had the new, um, GCDS Bratz there for, like, $99. I didn't get them, but that Sasha, I really want to steal her outfit. Like, I don't know, I don't really feel that strongly about the GCDS dolls specifically, but their clothes are really good to me. Anyway, back to this girly. So down the bottom, it says Rainbow High, it has all the girlies down the bottom here in like no particular order. This seems like a really random order. It's like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Like why is red at the front? Red should be like, you know, to be rainbow order. I don't know, it didn't really make sense to me. And then her outfit looks so stunning on the side here. So this is her second outfit with the top, the skirt, the belt, you know, the shoes. Uh, and it says one set. So I guess that means like one set of second outfit. Um, on the side of the box, it says here, Lila or Leela. I'm not really sure how her name is supposed to be pronounced. I haven't watched the show. I don't know how they pronounce it in the show, but it says Lila, visual arts focus, and it has a little like palette with a little paintbrush there. Like she's an artist. This is what the back of the box looks like. Um with their like really spaced out looking artwork where their eyes are like I just feel like they look like this. Which is why I just haven't gotten into them because they're not as like fierce as like brats or like my scene, which is like typically more my like 
wavelength. Um, but I'm not opposed to them. I don't know. I just really, this doll was so beautiful to me that I was like, even if I never get another Rainbow High doll, I just wanted to have her because she spoke to me. And I'll talk about that more when I get into it. But it says down here is oh, Rainbow High at the top. The picture of the little girl's Rainbow Order. And it like makes sense in this picture. And I like how it's like got this iridescence to the packaging. It's really cool. And then on the bottom it says Rainbow High where the creative students with the style use glam, grit, love, action, and moxie to make their performing arts and fashion dreams come true. Niche. Anyway, so these are the girlies um, in series four. I don't know all their names, but I know that Delilah is gorgeous. Um, I know that her name is Mila, and I saw her in a store, like, before I saw, like, the rest of them come out in store. She was, like, on the shelf first for some reason, and her lipstick was so wonky. Just, when you're picking up these, like, really, I do recommend going in store, because I didn't want to order her online, because I didn't want to get, like, a wonged out face. Okay, so I did cut the sticky tape on the top already, because I got excited on the train, and I just, like... I wanted to like stick my hand in and be like, ooh, you know. Um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I haven't ever tried a Rainbow High doll before, but this is such an experience, honestly. Wow, that that was really fun. That made me feel really happy inside. Wow. <laughs> um, so the doll obviously is in this part, and then you've got the um, second outfit, and then in the back here, this is where the accessories are that like are. They were like taped and I just untaped it. And then there's this little bag with her extra shoes and her doll stand. Um, and then the instructions for like her shoes, I guess. I mean, extra feet, sorry, extra legs. Um, oh my gosh, let's talk about the doll first and then I'll talk about the second outfits after. I'll like go through each portion and like really go in detail. Here she is. I love you. Okay, the only thing about mine that was like odd in store about her pose, like she's so perfect, but her pose, she's like this when most of them were like this, if that makes sense. Like her arm was like bent back, which is really odd because most of them were like this in store, like with her arm a bit more like forward and like a little bit more like sassy like that. I don't know. It was interesting that her arm was just like, oh my gosh, she's stunning. I didn't do much inbox photography because, um... I didn't, I don't really care. Like, I, whatever. Um, oh my gosh, let's get her out. Guys, this is, like, the... She smells like plastic. She smells a little bit like a Lala Loopsy, I want to say. I feel like it's, like, the MGA hard plastic smell. Is she from MGA? I think she is, right? I don't know what company makes these. Yes, she's MGA. So this is the same company that does Bratz and um, Lala Loopsy. Um, okay, so I'm just going to unsnip her. We can talk about the unsnipping experience together. I feel like it's going to be quite easy, I'm hoping, um, because my hands are already really torn up and I don't want to, like, rip them up more just to unbox a doll. Oh, so one thing that's just so impressive about Rainbow High is, like, the detail and the, like, accessories. They're just so much, like, effort put into this that... I just couldn't not get this doll. Um, so there was a tie around each of her legs. Her arms each had their own plastic piece. I just did one for the torso. And, oh, I hate when this happens to the hair. When the hair, like, has its own one. I don't like when that happens. Because then I had to cut it in the hair and it kind of scares me. You know when they have, like, one stuck through the head? Uh, I'll cut it neatly later. I'll come up. But, yes, in the shit. So she's, oh, my gosh. It's really cool to actually hold her. I've never actually held a Rainbow High doll before. Like, she's my first time seeing one in person, out of the box, in real life. It's very interesting. I don't know. I've never, like, had one. So it's very much, like, a different vibe to what I expected. She's a lot chunkier than dolls that I've had previously. Like, I should have brought, like, a classic Barbie over or something. But she's a lot... She's a lot wider, if that makes sense. She's a lot more of a sturdier doll. She's a little bit more like a Lala Loopsie. And a brat had a baby. Anyway, um, in the back of this part of her box, she like has this like iridescent background, and she just has her little hairbrush, which I'll pull out and I'll tell you about the hairbrush first because that's probably the easiest to talk about. Um, it's just like they all have the same hairbrush mold. It's not a unique mold, but they all have colours, and each colour of their hairbrushes corresponds with their colour. So I believe she's supposed to be. Oh, I can't remember. It's some shade of purple. I don't remember. Um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I was watching someone else talk about it today. Anyway, she's a shade of purple. And so her brush is like a pinky purple. 
Um, and it looks like this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but it says rainbow on it. You can kind of tell. Here it says rainbow and it has a stripey bottom. Um, looks cute. It's just a clear one with glitter through it and it is like a pinky purpley colour. Um, maybe I should... Okay, I was thinking about this. Like, I always want to have a small hairbrush with me at the club just so I can, like, fix up, like, my hair. I should start carrying, like, my silly little doll hairbrushes with me everywhere. Because that would slip into a bag so easily. And, like, let's be real. Am I really going to be brushing her rock-solid bangs? Okay, let's talk about her from the top to the bottom. So, first of all, her bangs are, like, rocks. They're so hard. Um... She has these rock solid bangs that I'll definitely be washing out so that they go over her face a bit more like this rather than up. I don't like the the over the top. I want them to be going down. And I want them to sit like a little flatter like that. Does that make sense? Um, her hair color is really cute. Um, it's purple with like light brown. Actually, do we have a similar hair color? Oh, I didn't even realize this when I was like wanting her. She has like a light brown hair. I didn't realize that she had brown through it. It looks like it's tinsel as well. Does she have tinsel in her hair? I can't quite tell. She may have tinsel in it. See how it's got that shine through it? She may have tinsel. She definitely has that brown kind of shade through it. And then she, of course, has the purple. Um, she looks really cute. Her hair is kind of in two pigtails, put up, then braided, then wrapped around each other into buns. The buns are spiky and just kind of stick out at the back. And I've seen when people take it down, she has quite a bit of length, about that much, I'd say. Um, I'm not going to take my doll's hair out because I don't want to ruin her hairstyle. The only thing about this doll is one of her bows is already undone. Like she came with one of the bows, the ribbon is like loose, but that's really easy. I can just tie another like bow. It's just like a little bow like that. So I can tie another one on this side and that's like an easy fix. Oh, my phone's running out of battery. One sec, I'm just gonna plug it in and charge it as I... Okay, we're still, we're still going, I think. Okay, so I was really worried that my um, phone was, like, not going on the live stream anymore. Because last time I did a live stream, it, like, kind of leaked out and I had to do it in two parts. Um, when I thought I could have just... Kept... Whatever, whatever. Anyway, um, let's go into her face. Wow. She has so much detail in her face. It took me ages to find one with such a perfect face. One thing that I will say is I feel like her eyes are a little, like, not wonky, but the inset part is wonky. And so I will be like rearranging her eyes inside her head because I feel like this one is looking a little lower than this one. This one's a little lifted and the eyelashes are perfectly at the top of the eye. Whereas this one, this a little bit like of a, I don't know. I think I could fix it though. I've seen people boil rainbow high heads and take the eyes out and like rejig them. So they look more centered. And so I'm going to do that with her eyes. I didn't mind that her eyes were slightly different, like when they were placed in her head because the actual face paint, which I can't change, I'm not a repainter, her actual face paint is gorgeous. She has these little, um, can I zoom in? Yeah. She has these little, um, decora style, um, stickers on her face. And then she has a little bandaid on her nose. I chose this one because the bandaid on her nose is literally perfectly placed and her little heart on her nose is perfect. Also on her cheek, this little love heart, it has a smiley face in it. And a lot of the time with other, um, variations like other ones of this doll at the store the little smiley face that's printed inside the heart was misprinted and there's a cat on this side and a lot of the other dolls the cat's smiley face was misprinted and I didn't like that so I chose one with the perfect printing um and she also has um a pink flower on each side and then two blue flowers on each side so she has four stickers on each side and then the band-aid with the love heart in the center now the band-aid is actually molded onto her face like it is bumpy and raised and there is texture to it and it's very detailed this band-aid is like they've made this face sculpt with a band-aid on it like this is a unique face sculpt to her so I really liked that um and also she's wearing a pink lip it's like half pink half red and it's kind of glossy um this one's a little bit more pigmented some of the other ones in the store had like a lighter pigment and some of them also had a glitter across it now you can't really see glitter on this one there is a little bit of a sheeny glitter in real life um but some of them in store had quite a bit of glitter her eyes she has like quite a detailed purple um 
like kind of graphic eye and I like that she has a wing liner because when I wear makeup I always wear a wing liner it's just it's just the way it is so I like that she's a wing liner girl she's got that like cat eye effect going on she also has these really cute little short eyebrows which I don't think has ever been done before on a rainbow high doll but apparently um it has significance in Japanese culture to do with coming of age oh yeah I haven't even talked about this um obviously this doll has Japanese and Chinese influence um, she's supposed to be half Japanese, half Chinese. Um, I am um, half Taiwanese, if you're wondering. So I felt like she was like, like vibes. Um, so that I, I just like connected her with, with her the most because she was like, even though we're not the same mix, like we're both halfy girls and we like, I don't know, I just vibed with her the most. So anyway, um, so obviously there is influence from her culture in her like outfits and fashion and stuff but then she also has her own take on it and stuff and I just really liked the way they did this um going next into her earrings I'm gonna do so many random zooms in this but like whatever um her earrings are both cherry blossoms and then they say um they have these little chains coming down this one says R and this one says H for rainbow high and they have a little pearl teardrop at the bottom um did you know the flower for Taiwan is the plum blossom which pretty much looks like a cherry blossom. So to me, these are plum flowers, like plum blossom flowers in my head. I know that's not canon. It's just like, I'm just making up stuff for this doll because she's mine and I don't care. Um, I also think it's important to like recognize like her own culture as well. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get into it. She has this top, which is so cool. Um, it's inspired by like traditional Japanese wear, but like, She's done her own spin on it um, by adding these like edgy little buckles and stuff. The actual print of this top, it's satin and it says rainbow high all over it in a print. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of like this print, but then I thought to myself, it's kind of like the rainbow high version of having like a Dior monogram print. So I was like, really? It's like designer. I'm sure this is designer in the rainbow high world. And so really she's like put a designer spin on an app. A little like top that she would wear in a more traditional setting. I don't, I just like the mix of like the classic with the new, um, you know, the traditional with like the contemporary vibe. Um, this little belt is a detachable piece. Um, so this top is one little jumpsuit. This belt here that you can see, this large thick purple belt is a detachable piece, and this skirt is a separate piece. They all velcro as three separate pieces in the back that you can layer um and I will undress her later she's wearing crocs which absolutely sold me on the doll because I wear crocs all the time and she's wearing platform crocs now my platform crocs are yellow but I felt like black was a good versatile choice for her and she's also wearing socks which are not hemmed but they're very sweet and they're just little cotton socks um anyway let's talk through the details of the top first so it has this like um, two layers of ribbon lining the top of the crossover part of um, the kind of kimono inspired top and each of these buckles it's not going to like focus but these are like little cherry blossoms but they're buckles this one just says rainbow high and it's kind of interesting how these are metallic plated but this little charm here is not metallic plated it's just like silver plastic anyway she has these little buckles down the side um and then the same kind of double ribbon and then it like crosses over this is the same little buckle and then the double ribbon there's a little tag on each side it's kind of interesting it's like it's adjustable but it's not um and then it just velcros in the back i'm going to take off each piece actually so that i can show it to you individually um but i really like the way it all pairs together and the way that it's all interchangeable so that's the top without the belt let me take the skirt off i think it's cute even like that like definitely is cute um but i'll show you without the skirt as well oh this is interesting the skirt has a little piece inside so you don't like flash you know how the inside of monster high clothes often or like doll clothes often does this where it like has a little like modesty strip on the inside so that you don't um oh my gosh it's really hard to get her shoes off is is rainbow high always as hard to get shoes off but yeah, it has a little modesty strip. I'll show you in a sec. Once I get this, that was a really difficult shoe to get off. Let's talk about her belt. It looks like this. There's this like loose piece on the front and then there's this like little like strappy bit at the bottom that looks like you loop it through these loops. And then there's this little charm. Now I thought this charm would be cherry blossoms, but underneath it just turns out it's flat. Can you see what I mean? And then on the other side, it's just printed the same. So it just literally looks like that on both sides, but it's still cute though. And, um, 
I like the little belt loops and the way that they did this. And I like the little bedazzled RH logo on the front. I know a lot of people aren't fans of like having the Rainbow High logo all over everything. The branding of Rainbow High, like the RHs and Rainbow, 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 is pretty minimal on this doll. Um, and since I'm not someone who owns a bunch of Rainbow High, like this is literally the only one I have, I'm not really stressed because it's not like it's my entire world is covered in the words Rainbow High, Rainbow High. Like it's the one Rainbow High doll that I have. So I feel like it's just like, it's showing me that she's a rainbow high doll. Anyway, this is what I mean by she's wearing a little bodysuit. It has like a little mesh thing so that it like covers um, and like stays down. It's really cute. Um, and yeah, just Velcro's in the back. Um, this is what the skirt looks like. I've already shown you the belt. So this is what the skirt looks like. It's like that pleathery material that Bratz Dynamite dolls um, are wearing that would probably peel in the future. Let's pray this doesn't. Um, I asked my mum what this says and she says it says wisteria. Now I forgot the word, but... It says wisteria. Um, this has like a pleathery, metallic y finish. On the inside, there's that little modesty strip so it doesn't like ride up too high on her. And then the um, studs are really cool. It has an asymmetrical um, angular front, a zipper on the side there. And I love the studs all around. I really like how um, her style is like edgy but also feminine. Um, I love the blend, like the, you know, duality of the girly. Um, I just think it's really cool. Um, and as much as I'm, like, projecting my own character onto her as well, I also, like, want to recognise, like, what MGA was going for when, like, coming up with, like, the culture of this doll and stuff, if that makes sense. Like, she's mine and I'm going to make her my own, but I also really like what they did and what their intention was with this doll and stuff. And I still like that for her. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, these are what the socks look like. They're just little simple, cute little ankle socks. And she's got little heeled feet. Cute. And then here are the Crocs. They're the star of the show. They literally can go from, like, to sport mode. Are you kidding me? Cutest pair of shoes ever. Here is the tread on the bottom of the shoes. Here's the shoes from the side. The side of the shoe has little, like, um, rainbow high little monogram on it. I think it says S all over it. I can't quite tell. Maybe it's a dollar sign. Anyway, it just has a little monogram all over it. A little bit like, um, a Gucci monogram would be, although these are definitely Balenciaga. Um, and then they have some studs on the front. They have some gibbets that probably won't focus on this live, but this one is rainbow and it, I think, says rainbow in Japanese. Um, this one, I have no idea what it says. Oh, it zoomed in on my, like, pimples. Anyway, um, this one, I have no idea what it says. This one's a cherry blossom. This one is a heart with wings that's pink. It's really cute. This one's, like, a little cheeky smiley face. It's like... And then this one says love. And it's not focusing at all. So if you want to see better pictures, just Google it because I'm having fun right now. But they're really cute. And I like the little studs on the top as well. Gives a bit of like edge to it while still like being really cute because they say love. Okay. I love these so much. Um, major selling point. Like this um, really got me interested in the doll and got me like looking at it. And all the details on this shoe are like accurate to like what the Crocs are. You can't really see, but they've got like texture where the Crocs have texture and all those kind of details are like interestingly accurate um and i love that um the last thing i wanted to mention on the doll it's self that she's like currently wearing is she's wearing these little gloves and the gloves are really cute they have a um black pleathery kind of finish and the actual glove has across the knuckle they're like fingerless gloves and across the knuckle there is a purple ribbon with a silver um like electro plated buckle let me just fix this one up because the buckle's fallen off not fallen off it's like slid down her fingers oh my gosh i almost forgot to tell you guys another thing she has painted nails i'll show you in a sec once i pin pinch this inside and like fiddle with it a bit please go inside the way it was supposed to please 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 mm. it's a bit fiddly i don't understand how they make these so detailed like i don't know i just had to get this because i was so impressed okay well it's not really sitting oh there it is there we go Sitting nicely on both sides. Her fingers are painted purple. Because that's her colour. Oh, let's talk about articulation. I'll strip her naked. If you don't like naked dolls, you should probably click off now. Some people get really upset by um, doll nudity. Which I think is kind of funny because it's literally just a piece of plastic. But, you know, each their own. Um, oh my gosh, these are so cute. The little gloves are so tiny. They even have, like, a little elastic at the cuff so that they, like, fit her hand nicely. And they don't just look like... 
baggy. They like actually fit nicely because of that elastic detail. Um, anyway, let's look at her articulation because that is a major like wow on these dolls. Not that like articulation isn't a thing previously, but like, I don't know, this, these dolls for $50, I know that's like kind of expensive to American people because they get these dolls for a lot cheaper, but like the exchange rates are different. Um, but for 50 bucks to get a doll with all these accessories and this kind of articulation and the quality, like it was just, I just couldn't keep passing it up. So I finally, oh, I love her. Also, I love her skin tone. A lot of the time I feel like when they make an Asian, um, character or a character with an Asian background, um, they always make them like really pale. And so I'm loving seeing some tan Asians because not all Asians are the same skin tone, you know? Um, so I love that. Um, it says on the back of her head, 2022 MGA China, a little, you know, make thing. Um, there's nothing written on her back. Her underwear is the same color purple as her nails. They match. Oh my gosh. Imagine matching your nails to your undies. That's a cute concept. What's her, can she put, I want to like display it like this, but I don't think she can hold her hip. Sorry. I'm like just discovering the articulation. I've never really like. Oh, okay. Anyway, so that's the nail and the underwear. She has articulation at the head. Let's try it out. Oh, yeah. She also has a bit of glue on her face. I don't know if you can see that. You can kind of. It's shiny there. Um, I'm sure that will wash off. Mm, there's quite a bit of glue. I feel like the glue's... Oh, it's probably from when they glued her bangs in. Oh, let's see if the earrings are easy to take out. Oh, they're like this in the back. They're kind of like reinforced and they're painted so nicely anyway i was talking about articulation oh look at her ears sorry i'm really distracted let's talk about articulation so yes she has that neck articulation which was kind of a thing that they added apparently rainbow high first wave didn't have that kind of neck articulation i don't know then they have the shoulder articulation she's kind of stiff not gonna lie like this is a little bit like you know i'm taking a bit of effort she has like a piece in here so she can really like bend her arm in so she has elbow articulation and then she has a pivot on her hand as well. At the thighs, I think, is this a rotation? Oh, it is. Okay, so the thigh rotates. It snaps when it's in the proper spot. So you know what is facing front again. Um, but you can like make her face the side, stand like a bit like, you know, facing out. Or you can, she could be a ballerina. Um, then her knee joints are like this. So that's what the leg articulation is like. And they don't have ankle articulation. This is her pointed toe so that she can wear heels. Um, but she does come with removable calves, legs, feet, so that you can change her into flat footed shoes, which I really do appreciate. I don't know. It's not like the most easy switch. Like I know that like some people prefer just having like a, foot that you can just have an ankle joint on but like ankle joints can be a bit flimsy and with the difficulty level of these shoes like these are quite difficult shoes to get on and off so i can understand why they wouldn't want people like really ripping at an ankle joint like that anyway let's get into the little what was that little plastic baggie okay so this is the little plastic baggie um i'm just gonna open it and take out the other parts to this doll i'm having the time of my life guys like oops i'm really enjoying so over here we have is there a front and a back? I don't believe so. No, it's all one side. So this is the stand. Does this go in this way? Oh, no, no, this way. So I'm just putting the pieces together, but it's the same color plastic exactly as the brush. I know that sometimes, well, actually this is a little darker than the base. Um, sometimes the Rainbow High stands and brushes are like different colors to each other and it seems kind of random, but Oh, that fits in perfectly. And then this, I guess, goes on the top and slides over. And there's a little stopper there that, like, stops it from sliding all the way down. And it looks like a little eye beam. Um, but, yeah, apparently not all of them are the same colour and match, but this one matches. That's what the little thing looks like. Let's put her onto her stand. Perfect. Okay, she's nudie right now, so let's get her into her second outfit. I honestly don't know which outfit I prefer more. Like her second one or her first one. Let's just put her here really awkwardly. Stay girly. So also in this little baggie, you get a little instruction manual. And this is to show you how to disconnect the legs so that you can put on her flat feet. 
Um, and I definitely think that some children will be losing their feet as they switch them around. Um, you know, it's really funny. You can do like one flat foot, one heeled foot. I don't know. That's funny to me. And then it shows you how to put on her shoes and also, um, another doll's shoes that is from this series. I don't know who wears those, but yes, these are going to be my doll's shoes. And it comes with her extra legs. What a nice pair of feet. Anyway, the feet are really cool. I wish they painted the toenails though. Um, but yeah, they're like very detailed feet. I don't know. I've never had like a doll's foot that's so detailed. Um, on the bottom of this one, it says, I don't know, a bunch of numbers. I guess it's to do with like some sort of batch code. Is that the right way around? Now I'm like second guessing how feet look. Yes, it's this way around. So these are her flat feet. Is it just me or do they look like they're the wrong way around? Am I going crazy? No, no, the big toe goes in the middle. Like, what? Uh, anyway, these are her flat feet. Put them to the side for now. Where is the box? Oh, here. Okay, so I love the way that they display the second outfit. Like, that looks stunning. That looks like art. Let's get it out. So just kind of, you can pull it out the front. I don't want to, like, damage the box for some reason don't know why because I'm not displaying it in the box and I'm not really going to keep the box but for some reason I have to do it like this um but yes I believe the box was previously glued on in the back and then they had these tabs to keep it in the box in case the glue comes undone that was like a big I don't know everyone that I watch on YouTube that's a doll person that like does rainbow high videos it's like oh and they added these tabs and so I was like cool I'm never not like I had no realization that that was such a big deal until everyone told me and now I'm like there are the tabs, guys. I hope that made sense. Anyway. Oh, wait. I wanted to show you. This is what it looks like. Doesn't it just look beautiful? It's in like a lilac -y purple background that matches the colors of the outfit. It just is so stunning. This could like sit on the shelf like that. And I would display that. Like that is beautiful. I don't know. Not the whole box. Like that isn't all beautiful to me. I don't like. Like it, it looks like a toy box. But this looks like art. Let's get the shoes out as well before I get ahead of myself. These shoes are stunning. See, this is the thing with this doll. Okay, so I've talked about this previously on my channel, but if I'm going to purchase a new doll, it has to be perfect to me in all aspects. This doll is essentially perfect to me in all aspects. Her face up is like the best or one of the best rainbow high doll face ups that I've ever seen and been interested in. I think she's unique and interesting in her face. And also, every single piece of her outfit, I enjoy. You know, if there was a piece of her outfit that I was questioning, I don't think I would have gotten her. But every single piece of her outfit, I appreciate and I, like, value. So, um, I do really like the whole doll um, and every single piece that she comes with. You know what? I'm going to rip the box. No, no, I don't want to rip the box. It's a very tough choice out here. Some people keep these boxes and do things with them after. Oh, you know why that was so hard to get out? Because that still is sticky, whereas this wasn't sticky on the back. People keep these boxes, and I'm like, do I want to keep this box? It is beautiful. I could display her second outfit in this box. I don't know what she's going to wear after this video, because, like, they're both so cute. I don't really know how to open this. Because I've seen people open it, and it just, like, kind of slides out. Oh, wait, does this just come off? Sorry if I'm, like, a bit clueless, and it's very obvious to, like, classic Rainbow High collectors. If I damage the box because I'm being a silly goose, I guess that's on me, you know? Um, also, let me know, guys, in the comments who you like the most from Sh Shadow High and Rainbow High. Tell me who is your least favourite doll, who is your favourite doll, um, who's in your collection. If you have a doll collection, send me a picture. Like, I literally, I, I, I don't care. Like, just send it to me. I want to see, don't worry about how messy it is, or if you haven't set up all your dolls, or if it's not perfect the way you want it to be set up, I literally just want to see your doll collection because I love dolls. Um, so these are what the shoes look like. These are, like, more of a traditional Japanese kind of style shoe. Okay, so the shoes open like this. Oh my gosh, cute. How does this come out? Um, I'm having so much fun opening this. Um, yeah, send me a doll collection, guys, because I want to see. I like that some of her pieces are modern and some of them are, like, 
traditional. Ooh, I don't want to take this off the plastic right now. So I'm just going to show it to you off her. But I will dress her in the rest of the clothes. Just that with these shoes, I'll talk you through them. But they're so detailed that I don't want to like undo all the ties right now. Shoe box, I guess. Um, Let's do the outfit now. So this doll, when she first came out, is very controversial because... um. Her name is Lila Yamamoto, right? And so everyone was like, oh, she's Japanese. Why is her outfit inspired by cultures that aren't Japanese? Because obviously this top is not very Japanese. And so people were like, oh, MGA doesn't know the difference between Asian cultures. They've just kind of like grouped all the Asian cultures together and sold it as one doll. But then some people were like, oh no, she could be mixed and is incorporating both of her cultures. And then when it came out in the series, that's what the background of the doll officially was revealed to be she was from both cultures um was that mga doing that like to cover their bums or was that the original plan i don't know but you know i just i'm gonna take it for what it is as someone who is mixed asian like i'm just happy to receive any doll and i also do think that it's fun to have like you know mixed representation as well that is like unique in its own thing and also I do like that this is a way for um doll collectors like myself to get um a cheap outfit without it being a designer doll because previously Lily Chang she was really gorgeous and I really do think she's a beautiful doll but the problem with Lily Chang is she is expensive she is like literally 200 Australian dollars which is a lot of money and I just wanted a cute cheapo outfit. And so when I saw that this doll was a quarter of the price and has a cheapo top, it's sure not the same kind of shebang as like that designer doll. But like for me, this gives me what I want. Just a bit of a cheapo moment. Just a little bit traditional. Just a little bit of my culture. You know, so I got what I wanted out of this doll. And so I was very happy. Um, and also I like Japanese culture as well obviously there's a lot of Japanese influence in like Taiwanese culture and so I just felt like this doll resonated with me the most oh I'm really messing up the way this was displayed I don't know if I'll ever be able to redisplay it as nicely is there a little oh yes there's little plastic staples holding this in packaging packaging I don't know people that probably unbox a lot of like rainbow high dolls probably like know exactly where all the ties are going to be but I I haven't done this before, so I'm not really sure where they're going to be or how, like, Rainbow High likes to secure their things. And I'm very, like, nervous about damaging the actual outfit. Like, I'll rip through, like, packaging if I need to. But I don't want to, like, accidentally snip clothing. Oh, where is that? Okay. Oh, one more, one more. Two more, two more. My goodness, so many. This skirt is so cute. I would literally wear all of these pieces in like some form in my closet. See, originally when I was like looking at Rainbow High, I was like, oh, I could get all the items that I would wear realistically in my life. Dude, I wear so much clothes realistically in my life that I would literally just be buying like closets for dolls. Like it's, I can't be buying dolls just for their outfits. I have to like really resonate with them more than just their outfit. That's why I'm also hesitant about GCDS Sasha because like, should I really buy her just because I love her outfit? I want to love the actual doll herself as well, you know? And that, I don't know, nothing wrong with GCDS Sasha's, like, face up. But, like, the GCDS, her and Yasmin, their faces, they just... I don't feel the same about them as I do about, like, my um, original brats. I don't know. It's, like, personal preference. I'm going to talk you through each of the outfit pieces as I put them onto her. We're going to dress her in her second outfit together. So first of all, she has her cheap pile top, and you better know that I had a pink version of this, but a dress when I was a kid. Actually, right now, right below me, this is the one I wore for Chinese New Year. Um, I do love a red one. Like, there is something so classic and traditional about a red one. But when I was younger, I had a pink one. I find that, like, um, this purple, it, like, reminds me of the pink one in that it's, like, very, like, it's, like, a youthful take on it. I don't know. I get youthful vibes when I see cheap piles that are pink. Because when I wore a pink one, I was youthful. Wait, I really want to drink. Excuse me. Um, I'm not really going to do this in a hurry. Because I don't want to like jab her fingers in it wrong or something like that. Um, 
But yeah, also I want to talk about her face uh, again. <laughs> this is all over the place. There are different lip variants for this doll. So my doll, obviously, she had a pink top lip and a red lower lip. But some of the dolls have a red on the top and the bottom. Um, if I saw the red on the top and the bottom in store, I probably would have purchased the both sides red just because I don't really do a two-tone lip like this. But I do think the two-tone lip is very pretty. Sorry that you guys had like a nude doll in the frame for like, you know, a while that I probably should have dressed her earlier, but sorry. Um, okay, she's kind of hard to dress, but I get that she's new and her arms are kind of stiff because she's brand new. And I guess that like through playing with her, they'll loosen up over time. But now that she's got her top on, it looks cute on her. You know something else that I've seen people do that I won't be doing in this video, but like just be aware that people do this, is they have been putting, I've seen people put this belt on and this belt on her and wear these as tops, as like tube tops. And I think that's a cute concept as well, just like reusing and like getting creative with all the pieces. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It just has a piping all around it. It has um, details all the way around just sort of the piping. It has two little bows on each side, bows there, two bows there. I like the symmetry of this top. I am a symmetrical obsessed person. So the symmetry is very satisfying to me. Um, it has one loose thread, ta-da. There it is, sliding up her neck. I'll probably cut that off later. Velcro is in the back, of course, and it has a silver brocade style um, floral pattern, which is very simple. And it also has darts on the front, so it fits her shape better. Next is the skirt. Now this skirt is a full length tulle skirt, and it also has that little modesty thing in the middle so it doesn't rise up too high. This is apparently a copy of Karma's skirt. Now, I don't know. I don't know anything about Karma, but does Karma have glitter on hers? I don't know, but, um, Leela does, and I like the glitter. So it has these little dots of glitter, which kind of just look like little diamonds going down her skirt, which is so me. Um, I don't know, I just love it. And then on the inside of the skirt, there's also a little, like, I don't know what to call this. It's like a little cotton spandex little mini skirt underneath, just so that it doesn't, like, show too much, because this is, like, a translucent skirt. I think this, as it is, is a really cute outfit. It's a bit modest. She's, like... You know, you could wear this to, like, Chinese New Year dinner with your family. Um, I just think it's a really cute... You could wear this out. Like, I think it's cute. Now, this belt, I believe, is inspired by the belt that um, you wear over a kimono in, like, more of a Japanese traditional outfit. So it's, like, kind of funky that she mixed this with the chi pao. So there's just a little tag that I want to cut off. Um, so, yeah, it's interesting that she's, like, mixing these two cultures. I've also heard people say that this also has... Korean influence. Now, I don't know as much about um, Korean, like, traditional dress, so please let me know in the comments about it um, if you have any fun facts to share. But, yeah, the that's the tool skirt without the belt added, and it just is got, um, he's got, he's got a um, Velcro in the back, and it's, like, pleated along the front, and it's really cute. I'm typically not a pleated person. Like, I probably would have liked this more if it was just, like, loose and tall going down. But I think that this added, like, much-needed dimension. Um, and, like, if you wanted, you could probably iron it out and make it a big full skirt. Like, I don't know, that could be cute too. But I, I don't know if I'd do that. Anyway, this also Velcros. There's a bow at the back, which is very nice and full. And there's a bow at the front, which is um, very nice but not as full. It's, like, slightly different of a bow. Like, see how this one is, like big and this one's got some accessories at the front so it's slightly smaller. It has a little cord bow with a um, cherry blossom that I'm pretending is a plum blossom and then it has two little strands of the ribbon coming out from the tie and they both have little beads on them. Now these beads have significance in Japanese culture and I've forgotten what it means but one time I was researching kimonos and the beads have a meaning. Um, these beads are a metallic um, pearlescent pink and this bead here is just sewn on and it has a painted detail in the center. I'm just going to put this on top of her outfit and then we're going to talk about her second outfit's shoes, which are crazy. You're crazy, girl. Wait, this is kind of tight. Is this going to... Oh, no, no, I'm putting it on wrong. Oh, I love getting new dolls. I wonder where she'll live. Like, I don't even have a plan for her. From the back, this is so cute. Like, and from the front, this is quite cute too. Apparently, um, it's like questionable that they added this bow to the front of this outfit. Um, if anyone knows why, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I really like it from the back though. From the front, I feel like they didn't need to have this second bow. Like I would have been happy if it was just like 
plain. <gasps> no, no, I don't want to remove it. I don't want to damage it. But, like, it'd be cute if it was just plain that had the bow at the back with even just, like, ties at the back or, like, just a tie at the front without the extra bow. Um, I guess it was her take on her culture, though. So, like, she designed it. See how much cuter her bangs will be when they're, like, flat and they're just, like, a little bit more chill looking like that instead? I don't know. Um, when I was in the store, I was, like, trying to make sure that I was getting, like, a nice face, nice hair, nice eyebrows, nice eyes, nice band-aid, nice stickers, and nice mouth. Like, there are so many variables on this doll, and I was like, uh, I can sacrifice the bangs as long as they don't have little spiky bits underneath, because some of them had, like, at their hairline here, instead of it being a nice hairline like that, they had, like, little spiky cut pieces in their hairline, which wasn't really resonating with me. Anyway, I love the symmetry of this doll. Let me show you her shoes. Um, and will we do a foot change? I feel like that's really difficult. I've seen people struggle online. Okay, it's coming off. It's not that crazy. I'll do a foot change. I'll do a foot change. Oh my gosh, I'm going to do a foot change. Oh, that was a bit sweaty. Okay, so that was right foot. And so I'm going to put the right foot. It says R on the inside. And over here it says right. And then on this foot it also says right on the inside. So you know which one's which. Okay. Let's put the new foot on, make her into her flat footed self. I'm really nervous because I don't want to damage her leg. It's it's quite tough. It's not on properly yet. See how it's like not snapped in? I believe it's going to snap in when I get it correct. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Ooh, I almost cracked her knee there I didn't like doing that see how there's a little white thing at the front there mm, that was not it that was not it I will not be doing that again it was cool though because now she has a flat foot do we like heels or flat feet better like if she was just okay fine we'll do the left foot I feel like it goes it pulls off easier than it goes on it's kind of hard to stick the foot back on let's try and do this one I immediately say, we're not doing that again, and then I do it again. Silly business. Oh, that one went on better, though. Okay, this is a bit of a technique. There we go. She's in her flat feet. I'm definitely not going to put her shoes onto these feet, though, because there's a lot of detail. But that's cute. I love that there's, like, the option of having that other foot, and I like how clean it looks with no joint there. There's a lot of detail on the sculpt of the feet and hands of these dolls, more than I expected, to be honest. Like, you can really see, like, the creases in the hands and stuff. Anyway, let's pop her right here in her new second outfit. Oh, who's your favourite from Series 4, guys? Um, other than her, I really like the orange girl and the yellow girl. I think that those two are my favourites. I also really like the emerald green girl. Emerald is my favourite gemstone. However, um, I don't like the emerald girl's outfit as much. I don't know. It's like the high-low doesn't resonate with me. Um, but her face is really pretty. Anyway, here are the shoes from the second outfit. And these are stunning. They're inspired by, like, traditional Japanese shoes. And I believe it's pronounced Geta, Gita shoes. I don't know, my sister told me about this yesterday and I've already forgotten the pronunciation. Gita shoes? And so they are, like, little sandals that tie up on the side. This is real ribbon. And then they're, like, a little moulded plastic bottom. Now, so many people are saying this is, like, the most detailed shoe ever. It's not. Like, I actually think that it's... It's not too crazy of a shoe, but it is really impressive. It's literally just one plastic piece. They just made this little double T shape. And then I guess they just put ribbon through it. And then this little piece at the front is like a little stretchy rubbery kind of piece that they put across the front. And that all has little plum blossom, not plum blossom, little cherry blossom, I guess, details all over it. So yeah, the details on this is what makes it so detailed to me. Wait. The little print on this is what makes it so detailed to me, but otherwise I would just say that these are just like really beautiful shoes regardless. But the little paint, it makes these insane. Um, so yeah, these are really cool. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to be clumsy doing it on camera, but like in my own time, I'm going to put these shoes onto her feet. They're so cute. They're just black bottoms with the purple rubbery top with the matching purple um, ribbons that match the purple ribbons in her hair. And then the little sides has a molded, little ribbon tie on each side so cute um but yeah those are the shoes that go with her no i dropped one on the floor um these are the shoes that go with her second outfit 
cute, right? And she has flat feet so she can wear these shoes. And then when she wears these shoes, she's going to be a little bit taller too because they've got a bit of height. We love a bit of height. Okay, that's her second outfit. Okay, I want to talk about other Rainbow High Dolls now. Don't listen. Like, you're superior, but, like, um, she's, like, the supreme Rainbow High Doll to me. I don't know. Just everything about her perfectly resonated with me. The way she combined, like, traditional with, like, modern style. The way she combined her two different cultures. Um, the way it was, like, edgy, but also, like, you know, kind of, like, more of a girly style with this one. With this being more edgy. Like, I love, like, the duality vibes of this girl. The two feet, you know, heeled and flat. I'm kidding. Um, so, other rainbow high dolls that I think are cute, that are, like, kind of interesting to me, but, like, I don't know if I'd necessarily get them. First of all, obviously, Lily Chang. Like, it's, it's obvious, but she costs, like, literally, like, $200. So, I don't know, that's 200 Australian. So, exchange rates and stuff, but still, ouch. Um, second of all, very difficult to get in Australia, in my opinion, um, is... Robin Sterling. She is stunning. And as you can tell by the things behind me, like I love, like literally I'm wearing a Tiffany necklace right now. Like I'm a, a bit of a Tiffany stan. And I love the aesthetic that Robin's wearing. Everything Robin is wearing in her doll, I literally own that as clothing. Like I have that robe. I have the little heels she's wearing. I literally have the same bunny slippers as her, except everything she's wearing in blue, in that little Tiffany Robin's egg blue, I'm wearing it in pink. So it's like, we're like, like sisters um also from that same series brianna she's really gorgeous as well i am a bit of a juicy stan um there's also a juicy couture sweatsuit behind that pink robe you just can't see because it it's also pink but like brianna and i are also twins but i feel strong about robin she's just gorgeous um other than those guys there are some like normal release series people that i think are really beautiful i do think that um uh what's her name bella I don't know Bella's last name, but you know, the, the pink girly, the original pink girly, Bella. Anyway, she doesn't have the greatest face to me. Like, sorry to people that love Bella's face, like Illy, but it's not like a face that really resonates with me. She looks really like what, like to me. And so I actually just like her for her outfit and I can't justify buying her just for her outfit, but that Chanel two piece suit is iconic. And so is her dress. And so is her little pink leather jacket. I love her colors. I love her style. I just don't love her face sculpt. Um, another doll that I love, but not all the pieces of, is um, Georgia. Georgia's outfit that's inspired by Dior is stunning to me, and I love it. But I don't love her first outfit. I only like her second outfit. I would buy all of her second outfit and happily put Leela into it. Like, you know. Um, Daphne Mint? Is, is Daphne's last name Mint? Any... Anyway, Daphne's outfit is stunning as well. The one that's more Chanel inspired. All the tweed outfits I'm really into. Um, Cheryl, um, the one that's like sure inspired from Clueless. She's really gorgeous as well, but only for her Clueless outfit. I literally just like the Clueless costume. Um, and also, mm, who else? I'm like, I feel like I'm name dropping. Sometimes I see a doll online and I think that I like her online. Um, but then I see her in person and I'm like, oh, she's not like as gorgeous in person. But then I see a doll that I didn't like as much online and I see her in person. And I'm like, wow, she's really stunning. Now, one that made me think that was the gray girl with the brown eyes from Shadow High. She is really stunning in person, but the actual outfits I don't really like care for. So I won't get it because that's what I mean. Like I have to get a doll when she's like entirely perfect in all aspects and in all ways. Furthermore on this doll, sorry. She has a center parting. Ugh, dolls with a center parting are my favorite. I just like love the way that they're rooted better. It's just like a personal preference thing. Cause I have a center parting. That's the way I'm rooted. So one more thing about her, actually. Look at her eyes. They're like blue, but I kind of wish she had brown eyes. I feel like she would look so like nice with brown eyes. I don't know. I feel like it would suit her, but I'm not going to change her eyes. That's, that's too much for me. Um, if anyone wants to send me some extra rainbow high brown eyes, please do. Um, I like a lot of the shadow high characters, actually. I like um, the Sunny Madison and Luna Madison duo. I think it's really cute. I think that they should come out together as a two pack. I think that would be adorable. Um, I love the length of the nails on the new shadow high girlies. So like all the girlies hands is like it. I wish she had 
some claws, but like it's okay because at least he's a painted, so it's fine. Oh, she looks so wholesome. Let's do a little pose. Oh, she looks really sweet. Anyway, um, who else? Yeah, I really like um, what's that girl that's like um, Chanel. Chanel from Shadow High, stunning. Definitely my favorite Shadow High character so far is Chanel. Um, and the split dye hair, like she's cute too, but Chanel is my fave. Um, I think that's all from Shadow High that have really spoken to me. Um, junior High, it's not amazing to me. I think Sunny's cute. I really like how Sunny yellow is my favorite color. I know you wouldn't believe it, but yellow is my favorite color. So I like how Sunny has um like yellow with rainbow. I think that's really fun and really like happy. Um, and so I like Sunny's rainbow everything. Anytime she's a rainbow accessory, I think it's really cute. Um. You know what doll I want them to come out with in future? I want them to come out with a bee-themed doll because I like bees. Um, I think that that would be really cute for a golden or, like, yellow doll to be, like, a queen bee. I think that's really cute. Oh, the Paris Hilton doll that's going to come out, I'm definitely interested because of her glow mesh skirt slash dress. I love wearing glow mesh personally, and it's just very iconic, and I'm a big fan of the pink, and I feel like that Paris doll is, like, yeah. Um... You talk about the Paris doll, like she's a designer doll. If I got her, I guess I would get Lily Chang. I don't know. It's Lady's problem that we'll think about later. I really would like Robin though. I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep this one and not do any others and just have the one. Um, but yeah, from Junior Rainbow High, the one that I like I like the most is um the purple one that I've forgotten the name of, but the one that's pretty much Britney Spears. She's really cute and I love the Britney Spears outfit, um, but nothing else about the like junior high like really speaks to me I'm trying to think if there's any others oh the cheer line okay so I'm in cheerleading so every time there's a cheer doll line it like really speaks to me because I'm like oh my gosh they're like me we're all cheerleaders but the thing is with the cheer rainbow high line like I don't I don't know it just doesn't speak to me the same way as like um the monster high cheer uniforms do or the brats ones do I understand that like they made them all unique and like they're all like you know, expressing their own fashion style. And I like that for them. And I think it's like, they've done it well. Um, they're just not for me. I did almost get Skylar, but then she sold out. But if you see a Skylar for really cheap from the cheer line, she's my favorite from the cheer line. And I would get a Skylar. I don't need any of the others though, but I do appreciate them. But I would purchase Skylar, but I don't need the rest. But I do think they look really good together. And one of my friends has the whole line of them. And I do have FOMO, but I'm not going to get involved. I think that's all the lines that have come out. The winter break line, it was cute, but I didn't die. Uh, Pacific Coast, it was cute, but I didn't die. Um, that's all of them. Um, do I have anything else to say about her? Let me know what you think of her in the comments. I think she's stunning. I'm actually really glad that I got her. Um, there is a toy sale coming up and I could have gotten her for cheaper if I'd waited a couple, like, weeks, like, two weeks. Um, but the thing is, I wanted to have first pick of the nice faces and she'd just come out on shelves, like, this week, I believe. In this particular big W, I believe. I could be wrong. Um, and so I wanted to get a one with a nice face before the nice face girlies were gone. Because there were some with really wonky looking like nose band-aids or their lips were totally misprinted or just like a total mess. So I am very glad to have gotten her um, when I did. Okay, I'm really tired and I'm going to go to sleep now. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, sorry that I'm like really tired and probably delirious the whole time and went off topic, but you know. Um, if you liked the video, you can give it a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. You can like, comment, subscribe, follow me everywhere. If you want to see more of me, I'm Emily Pitch 20 on pretty much every platform. Here is the other thing that I bought at the shop today. This is not relevant to the Rainbow High doll. Um, this is just me showing you some socks. They say they're from Peter Alexander and it says freak for your feet. Now guess how much these were originally? More. Yep, that's right. These were originally $35.95. I got them for $15 and that's still kind of expensive, but I didn't care because these are Sesame Street Peter Alexander collab. I didn't even know they had collabed again because I purchased their last collab when I was in high school. Um, and I just love the Peter Alexander, excuse me, um, the Peter Alexander Sesame Street collab that I already have. And these are so fun because they're like Big Bird's feet. They're like stripy. So I'm going to wear these and I'm going to be like Big Bird. And then I'm going to wear it with my fluffy yellow jacket and it's going to be my Big Bird cosplay. 
but like they're cute and like fluffy and soft. And doesn't that just scream Sesame Street? Like they're just some fun, fluffy bed socks. And I'm going to put them on now and go to sleep in them. They're so cute. And they have a little Peter Alexander dog logo at the front, which is a bit cute too. I didn't need that though. You can wear them the other way around if you don't want people to see the logo. And it's like hidden on the inside. But look at the little fluffy parts. That's so Sesame Street. Like it just screams Big Bird's feet. Or it also reminds me of like, you know on Sesame Street how there's the worms? Slimy? Wait, I need to Google Slimy after this and see what colour Slimy is. You know Slimy the worm? He's friends with like Oscar the Grouch. Okay, we're really getting off topic. It was about a dog who we love. And welcome to the family Rainbow High. I don't know where she'll go yet. Maybe she'll go with my Miocene doll because it's like opposing brands from different eras that I only have one of. Because I only have one of her and I only have one of her. So. I don't know, latest problem. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.